Hey guys, Kyle Brad from Shopper Motorsports. We're out here at the Imperial Sand Dunes, also known as Glamis, California. We are out here with the Funco team today. We're testing out a brand new set of tires from System 3 Off-Road. It's gonna be the SS 360 tire. This is going to take the place in the duning world of the all-terrain tire that we see on big four-wheel drive trucks. We have the standard DS340 paddle tire. Now that was one of the premier performing paddle tires in our paddle tire test from last year. So this year we have a new tire. This is gonna be the driver's tire they're calling it. If you're not racing for pinks up, you know, the steepest dune you can find, this is gonna be the tire that you're gonna want in your car. And we're out here today to show just how this tire functions. It's a two-ply carcass, it's super lightweight, it's gonna give you better drivability, better cornering, and better straight line performance if you're not looking to go straight from a dead stop, racing a guy that has some monster scat track paddle tires on. That's the one thing this tire is really not gonna do the best, and that is gonna be drag racing somebody who has a full set of dialed paddle tires on. So again, we have the Funco Can-Am X3s out here in the background. We've got both of those sets of tires mounted. Now, the DS340s, so the traditional paddle tire is a 31. And the SS360, the new all-terrain tire you see here in the background, is a 32-inch tire. 32 front, 32 rear. So now the goal today is gonna to be to show how these two sets of tires perform differently. We know that a traditional paddle tire outperforms any standard all-terrain tire heads and tails. It's just a remarkable difference between the drivability of a car with paddles on it and a car without. Now this is gonna be the hybrid tire. This tire is gonna be that midway between the two that's gonna give you the best all around driving performance out here in the dunes. Today we're gonna to be showing that in lots of different aspects. We're gonna climb some steep grades. We're gonna fly across some flats. We're gonna see what kind of interesting situations we can get into. So please buckle your seatbelts and join us for the ride. So this is Mark, he's our System 3 rep. He's in charge or responsible for bringing us out here today to test out these brand new tires. Now Mark, you had a chance to run these out in the St. Anthony sand dunes. Um, what was your experience on the tires then? They were a blast, I loved them. They were, uh, they're definitely the driver's tire. You're able to have uh, predictable sliding capabilities. Uh, you're maximizing your four-wheel drive capabilities out there. It's just an overall really fun tire to run. I had a blast, that's why I wanted to get you guys out here and uh, show the masses how much fun these tires really are. So what's Chad's history with uh, racing and these UTVs? Started back in uh, 2008 in a, a Yamaha Rhino and moved over to Kawasaki Terex to get uh, eight time champion in the Pro Unlimited. Now we're talking about which races? In the Lucas Oil. Lucas Oil, nice. Moved on to Super Lights, and then from Super Lights went to Pro Lights, and then off to a Pro Buggy, won championships in the Pro Buggy, and now he's a dad. So again, we got a, basically a professional driver up there in front of us on the SS360s. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you can feel it or not, but our back end just slid around sideways as we came around that corner. If you're watching this buggy up in front of us, you can see that he's sticking to the ground and really having control of his back end and the front end. I mean, these, this car is four wheel drive. This here is the famous Comp Hill, fellas. The famous Comp Hill. So that right there was the jump we were hitting with these pedal tires last season when we were out here doing the pedal tire test. So right there, the car's sliding sideways, sliding sideways. I don't know if that's gonna happen with the other tires. At least that's what the bullet points say. The bullet points say we're gonna be able to stick to the, whoa! There we go, it's a slide. Woohoo! That was fun, and that was only the first ride of the day, guys. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. So again, tires like this allow you to steer, and then this guy here just allowed you to slide. So we were getting so much pitch sideways. So as soon as the car started sliding, it's just sliding along these ridges right here. This guy here was sticking to the ground a little bit more because he was catching each of these lips as the car wanted to try to slide sideways. It's pretty impressive. 
So that's the car they just got out of with the straight paddle tire. The front, obviously, even in four-wheel drive, isn't grabbing because they're smoothies. So that back end just slides around a lot. Are we ready? Ready to roll. So I'm in the Funko car that has the SS 360s on. This is the new dual sport driver's tire. I want to have four wheel drive, but I still want to be able to slide it. Right. right? So I need to have left front bike. Right. So I can still be able to track up hill. Right. mobbing around on these SS 360s for about 45 minutes now. We've been over here at Competition Hill here at the Glamis Sand Dunes. It's been a blast. It's been a lot of fun. So what we've experienced is these front tires grab so hard. The car's on rails up here at the top and it just pulls and hooks in and there's no slip, there's no slide, there's no nothing. And what my pro driver here sitting next to me has said is he really would like the front end to slide a little bit or the back to be able to slide. He wants a little bit more movement from the tires than these are getting. Instead of being just stuck on rails, he wants it to be able to slide just a little bit so he can kind of drive the car, if you will. So right now we're heading back over to the vehicles. We're going to swap these tires one side to the other, and he believes that that's going to give him just enough slide to be able to feel like he can push the car instead of the car grabbing, gripping, and going. It's been an amazing day out here in the Imperial Sand Dunes. Obviously, you can see the wind is kicking up. It's starting to whip pretty good. So we're going to pack it up and call it a day. Chad's been my driver out here today as we've been testing out these new SS 360 tires from System 3 Off-Road. Chad, how have these tires performed different than other sand tires you've run in the past? Well, Funko Motorsports in general as a company kind of strives to be on the cutting edge of what's new and and where's the market going and also what's the best product to help amplify our sales as a business and push sales for companies like Chaparral and, and anyone in the UTV industry. And I was pleasantly surprised with the tire today. I expected the tire to be a drifting tire, which is I think where the market is aimed. It's for sure, no question, the best dooning tire right? We I've seen. But I was surprised with the traction and also just the tracking up the hill and the controllability on the on the faces of the dunes. It's not something that I expected to be able to just throw the car sideways in, in the fluff, but also have the trust to be able to push it going up the hills. 
So this car actually stuck so good the first run out that we had to come back and make an adjustment. We actually flipped the front tires around backwards so they'd be able to slide a little bit more than they were because they were like sticking like Velcro to the sand. If I was on a racetrack, I'd definitely run them forward. But being in the dunes, it's a lot of, I mean, let's call it what it is. It's a kickback, relaxed family time cruise, right? And when I'm cruising, I kind of want to fluff and, and float. And that allowed me to just turn it around. But if I know that I'm going out for that one ride a weekend where what we call at Funko Morris work, let's go break parts, right? I turn it around and I go hard. The new SS 360 from System 3 Off-Road. If you're a Duner and you want to be able to have the most fun out here you can have on the sand, take a look at the new SS 360s. I'm Kyle from Chaperone Motorsports. This is Chad from Funko. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there.